Hey guys, I'm just making a short video on my latest acquisition. It's a standard modern 12 by 30 model LD Utilade, and uh, got it at a high school auction for a really good price. And I really like these. I have the 10 inch Utilade which is basically an identical headstock as this unit a little shorter bed and uh, but almost the same sort of thing and uh, anyways I most of these high school lays always they hire hardwire them into the wall panels and uh, anyways this particular model is a factory 110 volt uh, motor uh, three-quarter horse which I really like and uh, anyways uh, wired it up yesterday and powered it up and uh, was testing it out and I couldn't get the uh, the feed uh, the feed box working I couldn't get uh, the screws turning or anything like this and uh, so I started poking around and checking it out and you know this is usually controls your you know your uh, your coarse and fine here and um, when I was pulling on this I was like why is this going so far out because my 10 inch it stays on the gear and I thought well maybe this one's different I don't know but then I started looking at it closer I was like how you, how you supposed to get to this bloody thing like pretty hard to get your fingers in there and uh, automatically at the beginning I automatically was thinking that the shear pin let go but I don't have experience with replacing shear pins on this I did download the manual which I'll post in in the description where you can get that and uh, anyways uh, kind of got me puzzled yesterday I spent a good hour checking it out it took me four hours to drain the the oil out of this gearbox it's like frozen corn syrup and um, anyways this uh, this part here was just really kind of confusing me like why is that moving so much the other one doesn't move that much so I went and looked at my 10 inch to it uh, utilize today and I was looking at it and uh, on closer inspection that snap ring is on this side so what I'm assuming is this gear is on backwards somebody went and replaced the shear pin which is it looks like it's underneath that that snap ring right it's gonna be hard to see I can see it but it's right there I see the hole and I'm assuming that's a snap ring on there and um, I'm assuming that's the problem because if the gear was on the opposite way then the gear would be sitting way further back and you wouldn't have as much travel as what I'm getting in the this handle should be sticking out further so anyways I'm gonna stop the video here I'm gonna flip the bloody gear around and see if that fixes the problem So I'll see you guys in a minute so we're back after flipping our gear here around and I gotta say I mean when I was staring at it at the beginning trying to figure out the hell the problem is I was thinking man that's stupid having a snap ring on the inside like what kind of like I don't even have snap ring pliers that could have even fit on the inside if you know it was done the correct way there'd hardly be any spacing in there anyway so anyway I flipped it around and uh it's working as it should. So yeah, if you ever get a standard modern lathe and the power feed's not working, it might be that somebody put this gear on backwards. And uh, yeah, that's where the shear pin is. It's right there. There's a little brass shear pin right in there. And uh, yeah, that makes a lot more sense to have the shear pin there on the inside, on the outside, rather than the inside of the gearbox. And 
this one had me really puzzled but uh, anyway so when he wasn't paying attention when they were replacing the shear pin but anyway I'm glad uh, it turned out to be a, a simple repair and I gotta degrease the 50 year old grease and dirt on this thing but uh, this machine is uh, in really really good condition out of uh, all the high school lathes I've ever had and that I've sold over the years uh, this one is basically in near mint condition it's barely got a scratch on it other than the dirt it's really really clean bedways are aren't banged up like you usually get so really good so I'll be adding this one to the collection I'm not going to be selling this one it's uh, it's too good to sell uh, and uh, I've always wanted an inch lathe. My other 10 inch um, butyl lathe was converted to metric. I'm in Canada and uh, back in the 60s or whatever it was uh, before my time they had converted all the high school lathes over to metric. So anyways maybe this helps you out. I'll post in the item description uh, the video description the, uh, the manual the link to the manual and if for any reason uh, Standard Modern no longer uh, decides to host the file I'll, uh, I'll figure out to, how to put it on another file sharing service and, uh, and I'll post it there so PM me if uh, it ever becomes a dead link. Anyways have a great day.